Hello everybody. This is the course on Future Studies and Corporate Foresight for all master's programs at Turku School of Economics, University of Turku. A few words about my background. I'm Sirka Heinonen and I'll be giving you the first two lectures in this course. I'm professor of Future Studies at Finland Future Research Center uh, since 2007. My educational background is uh, from Helsinki University, where I'm uh, graduated as Doctor of Philosophy. And previously I've been working at VTT, Technical Research Center of Finland, on the topic of future of cities, sustainable knowledge society, energy, social media, and technology foresight is a special uh, field of study for me. I'm also currently vice president of the Finnish Society for Future Studies, uh, member of the Club of Rome and chair of the Helsinki Node of the Millennium Project. So let's start with uh, the first lecture. For the first lecture, the title is Future Studies. What are the main principles and actors in this uh, interesting field? I uh, structured this first lecture in three parts. First, we start with addressing uh, different definitions for the field. Uh, we discuss epistemology, what is the knowledge creation, and what are the main principles. Then we'll move over to brief history of the uh, field, and finally we'll uh, have a look at the key actors and networks that are uh, very active in this field. So let's start with definitions, epistemology and principles. Uh, what is future studies? It is not as an academic field and discipline known to everybody, but it is already an academic field. But the paradigm of future research has very old roots in ancient world. Already Egyptians, Babylonians, Assyrians, Jews, Greek, Romans and Mayans, they shared the conviction that all humans, not all humans, but humans, are capable of receiving transcendental knowledge about the future. So a relation between past, present and future was existing. And this kind of ancient tradition that existed in those countries, and especially in the ancient world, uh, Greeks and Romans, ancient tradition of anticipation and foretelling and prediction, actually it had various techniques already development, uh, developed and there were more than 100 very specific techniques for uh, anticipating and foretelling the future. And they were even divided into two categories, one on intuitive methods and one on inductive methods. And uh, a very famous uh, Delphi oracle existed as an institution in Greece. And it was nothing to do with astrology, but it was an actually political institution. Statesmen uh, consulted Delphi Oracle, which of course changed the person who was Delphi Oracle, changed over time. But uh, uh, she was like a consultant for political decision making. Now let's jump back to the modern future studies. This field is totally different from the ancient uh, futures foretelling efforts, even though the aim was the same, to know about the future. As broadly defined, futures research means all cognitive and mental efforts to anticipate and scan the future. But the main difference uh, from this ancient foretelling field and futures thinking is that the modern futures studies claim 
that we really cannot know predict the future. We are not predicting the future, we are looking into the future. As strictly defined, the definition of future research and future studies is that it means systematic action and approach for using and not only using but also developing scientific methods and tools for three kinds of futures, for possible futures, for probable futures and for preferred futures. And the future is seen as alternative futures. So, the modern futures research paradigm has already been established. Uh, it means systematic, multidisciplinary, holistic, long-term, critical exploration of future development alternatives. And we hear these two terms being used, futures research and future studies. We can ask what is the difference. Futures research is the broader sphere with all theoretical and philosophical reflections. Future studies is almost a synonym, but a, a little bit uh, more loosely used for studies in the field of futures research. But futures research can cover also very theoretical studies. Then foresight is the more pragmatic, more narrow and more recent field inside the futures research paradigm. So foresight as a more narrow field inside futures research and future studies is very interesting. This is the field that interests companies, businesses, governments all around the world. Uh, it can be defined as a pragmatic future studies approach as structured debate about future related topics. And this is the definition that uh, European uh, Union Commission, for example, uses. Pragmatic, problem oriented short and medium term horizon. So, for example, for this course, uh, the problem or topic is very pragmatic. You have to reflect and think about the future of your profession. There are certain criteria and characteristics that, that can be and should be applied when we are talking about future studies and actually they are the same for foresight. It has to be within the larger framework of futures research, so there cannot be any contradictory elements, meaning we cannot do prediction or exact forecasting. Time frame is flexible and for future studies time frame is usually longer than for foresight. And it is very important that we involve many stakeholders when future studies processes projects are being made. It must be participatory, multidisciplinary and very often foresight processes include a roadmap. It is not required in every future studies uh, process but it is typically applied when technology foresight is being used and made. It is very action oriented process and uh, futures studies and foresight can also be linked directly with innovation processes within a company and uh, of course with strategic processes which you will hear more in the following lectures. And overall it can be considered as a learning process when we are conducting future studies or foresight uh, processes. About the epistemology. In philosophy, epistemology is the study of knowledge and what can be known. So, if we think about ontology, which means existence of something, we can also ask ontological questions, what is the future? But here, if we think about epistemology for future studies, the key epistemological question is, 
can we know the future? Can we get some knowledge from the future? And if we can get some kind of pre-knowledge of the future, what kind of knowledge this is? And how we can try to um, obtain this kind of future? With what methods? About the definitions and interpretations of this field, and about this epistemological question, can we know about the future? There exist several interpretations. According to a very strict interpretation given by Oiva Ketanen, uh, a famous uh, Finnish philosopher already decades ago, is that we really don't know and will not know anything about the future before it has turned into the present. A relative interpretation and definition for future studies is that humans in the present today live in a way all the time for their future, planning their future or having the future more or less in their mind. So future is actually here, not as a physical entity, but as a concept, conceptual thing in our thinking and planning. And a third interpretation is causal. And this is very important for this course where we are thinking about this concept of responsibility uh, and the futures. Causal interpretation says about the field of future studies that uh, humans know what we are doing today and where we commit ourselves. There is a causality that we will be responsible for these actions, activities for tomorrow. And the climate change is a very good example for this kind of causal interpretation. We should think about future generations all the time. Then a very nice set of uh, three key principles of future studies exist. First, as we already discussed, the future cannot be predicted. We can only uh, generate images and ideas of what events, developments we will be facing in the future. So therefore we use these many alternative futures and the name of the field is future studies, futures research in the plural. Uh, it is more or less enlightened anticipations that are involved, not predictions. The second principle is the future is not predetermined. We can assess, evaluate what will probably happen uh, when we consider the different options, but there is not just one future available for us. The third Key principle is the future can be affected, we, have an, uh, we can have an impact on the future. So therefore it is important to know what is probable and what is preferable and what is possible. And this third principle is again very important for the concept of uh, responsibility about the future. This concerns the consideration of values and ethical things. When we are making an impact on, on the future, it's not irrelevant what kind of impact that is.